So what does the Brian Edwards trade mean? What does that tell us about what we expect from the Raiders offense? One, it tells me that Josh McDaniels doesn't need a big bodied 50, 50 ball, strong hand receiver. Cause that's, that's kind of what he was, right? Not a great route runner, not great at separation, but he can be a big body. Right. And apparently Josh McDaniels feels like he doesn't need that. If he's going to trade Brian Edwards away for, for, for pennies. Um, it's looking to me, Soto, like he wants offensive playmakers that don't fit a specific scheme that he wants them to be able to cover a wide range of things. Normally you have a, to, to build a roster, you, you fit a certain style, right? Because if you, you can't afford to buy the best of everything, right? You have a salary, salary cap. You can't have the best of everything. You just simply can't afford it. Right. Yeah. Right. So you're like, all right, let's get a certain style, right? Like the, the, the Ravens are the best example, right? Let's just be a, a running team. We'll be a, we'll be a running offense in a very specific running offense. Um, the 49ers O line. They're tiny, but they're fast. If you want to run off, you know, edge runs, you know, sweeps, bubble screens, they're great for that. If you're trying to play power football or you know, have your quarterback take five, seven step drops and block for three seconds, they're terrible at that. But because of the scheme, they're great. You don't have to pay a ton of money. It feels to me like Josh McDaniels wants a ton of flexibility with his offense. Devonta Adams can do anything. Darren mm -hmm. Waller could almost do anything. Um, Hunter Renfro. Uh, more limited than those two, but for a slot receiver, he does basically anything you want. As an overall football player, he can return punts. He, he basically plays safety. We saw him make a great tackle. Yeah. Like It seems to me like Josh McDaniels wants an offensive, his offensive skill sets to be not specific. He wants them to be able to handle everything. And Brian Edwards wasn't that wasn't kind that of guy. Receiver. Well, the thing is, too, is, is McDaniels is – is good at morphing his offense and his scheme to to his team to his players mm -hmm. week to week. This this team doesn't defend this well, so I'm going to feed this specific player or this specific group of players, and he needs them to be able to execute the offense. He's, he needs him to be able to do the things that his scheme requires, um, and he has. Uh, complementary pieces that are more speed smaller speed guys and those guys are always going to you know help create space um take up space keep the the defense honest so like you said he's just not flexible enough to be he's not well-rounded enough to be one of those main guys he would kind of like blend into the background and just be another guy mm -hmm. uh and honestly you're you're paying him you know you might as well get something for him because he doesn't seem like he's going to be a guy that's going to be in the game plan very often congratulations for making it all the way to the end of our video if you want darren waller to catch 20 touchdown passes next season and for max crosby to have 30 sacks go ahead and subscribe and click the next video